Hey, investigators are working right now to figure out what happened yesterday that caused that crane to collapse onto the Tappan Zee Bridge. One lane of traffic remains closed this noon. Major repairs are needed. CBS News Channel Burley is live in Nyack on the Rockland County side of the bridge where traffic was still bad this morning. Janelle. Well, Mary, about 138,000 vehicles travel across that span each and every day. And a, a lot of the drivers that we've spoken with today say they are concerned now more than ever, eager to find out what caused that crane to collapse. The gridlock, much more than the rush hour delays these drivers are used to. Like 100 times back up. Because everybody's taking the back route to the Tappan Zee. Because everybody's spilling from the throughway over to 59. From the ground, the traffic snaking through Rockland County with thousands of commuters heading over the span to Westchester. The backups due in part to the one southbound lane still closed after Tuesday's collapse that sent the 256 foot crane tumbling across the seven lane span, leaving some drivers stranded for more than five hours. And I'm going, are you kidding me? I couldn't believe it. It was unbelievable to me. Concerned motorists like Wayne Vines now questioning why it happened in the first place. It really shouldn't happen, but it's happening. You know, whether they're overloaded as far as the inspectors going, inspecting it, whether the, the crane got stretched is what they were saying, you know, lifting a heavy load. The crane was one of 28 working on the new $3.9 billion Tappan Zee Bridge being built alongside the existing structure. Its boom came tumbling down around noon, narrowly missing the cars below. Governor Andrew Cuomo calling it a miracle that there were only minor injuries. Whether it was a mechanical malfunction or operator error, with another estimated two years until it's completed, commuters hope the investigation will give answers. I just hope things, they're going to make sure things are more safe to come across the bridge. I mean, I would hate something like that to happen, probably hit me on the way here or anybody else. Now, investigators have ruled out wind as a possible factor. So, again, right now it's a matter of whether it was operator error or whether it was the crane itself that malfunctioned. Reporting live this afternoon from Nyack, Rockland County, Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News.